What's up, everybody? My name is Maddie Wills. Welcome back to another season, another episode of Wellbeing Wednesday with Maddie Wills, where each week we talk to a different healthcare professional, of course, with Metro Health, and we just really, we really go over a little bit of everything. So if you've been following us for a while, we appreciate having you back. Um, and as always, if this conversation touches you in any way, please pass it along to your friends and family so that they can experience it as well. Okay, so without further ado, we'll get to today's guest, which is none other than Dr. Chelsea Wright. She's with Metro Health right now. How are you doing there, uh, Dr. Wright? Hi, good morning. I'm doing well. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking some time. We all know that you all are extremely busy and we just uh, really appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day to kind of go over some things with us and our audience. So uh, thanks for uh, thanks for coming on. So. Okay. Before we get started, and today we'll be talking about blood pressure and everything to know about blood pressure, um, I just want you to kind of, you know, talk to the people, let them know who you are, where you come from, and how you got to your position with Metro Health. Sure. So I am uh, from the Cleveland area. I grew up here, and I went away uh, to college for a little bit out of state, and then came back uh, to here for medical school. Um, so went to Case Western Reserve University uh, School of Medicine, uh, where I had my education, did my intern year and uh, residency at Metro Health. Um, so really always enjoyed this hospital and uh, appreciate getting to work here. So I stayed after I finished my education there um, and then signed on to be in an attending physician. So I work now just uh, outpatient care. I'm a primary care physician, uh, and I work at our West Park Clinic. Um, so it's one of our, our outpatient clinics uh, on the west side of Cleveland. Perfect. So uh, again, thanks for coming on today. And uh, you know, kudos to you on your journey. I know it's not easy for you all to get exactly from point A to point B. You got to go through a lot of schoolwork and whatnot. Um, but we appreciate you doing all that you do. So as I mentioned before, today we're talking about blood pressure and everything to know about blood pressure. So I'm sure uh, that you'll kind of touch on exactly what that means with this first response here, but let's just dive in. Why is knowing your blood pressure important? That is a great question. It basically blood pressure is something that, uh, so, I mean, we all have blood pressure. Basically we have blood running through our veins um, and uh, it can range a lot. It's how you know blood gets to our, all of our organs. Um, and it, how blood transfers oxygen to all of our organs. Um, it is one of those cases where high blood pressure and low blood, or low, low blood pressure can cause a lot of issues. So where you get the high blood pressure is where you're getting extra stress on your organs. So stress on your brain, on your heart, um, on your kidneys. It, it puts a lot of extra stress on them, which can cause things like heart disease, strokes, heart attacks. I mean, all those those big, scary things that can happen um, can very much be increased with high blood pressure. Uh, so it ends up being a, a big one that can affect all of us. Mm, mm, yeah. And, you know, in our community, we, you know, at least I'll speak for myself growing up, I heard a lot about, um, you know, my certain members of my family have had experiences with high blood pressure. My mom shouts out to her was just letting uh, me and my siblings know literally like last week that her and her her doctor have been going through working on getting hers down. And she said, not only is hers down now to like an acceptable level, but it's all, it's actually in a, in a good space right now. So uh, with that being said, you know, how does high blood blood pressure impact black and brown people in our community? Uh, it unfortunately does have a higher rate as far as um, with uh, the black and brown community. So it's both the case of looking at higher rates, but also more people just don't know that they have high blood pressure. So you're looking at higher numbers of people that have high blood pressure, but then also a higher percentage of people that just are also unaware of it. Um, some of that may be just due to potentially limited access to healthcare, um, that they're, they're just not even being diagnosed with the high blood pressure, just since they're not getting blood pressure checks regularly. Um, but it is unfortunately, um, especially in, in the, uh, the black community, is uh, just higher rates 
Um, and unfortunately, then uh, with the higher rates of blood pressure, you're getting the higher rates of all of those um, conditions that can occur because of it. Yeah, and, and so often we've spoken just was speaking with the different uh, reps at, at Metro doing these interviews. We spoke often about how important it is that preventative health care and how important it is just to know exactly where you are with certain things involving with your health or revolved around your health so that you can be out in front of things and, and not, you know, try to tackle it or attack it when it's already too late. Um, so with that being said, when should someone see a doctor for their blood pressure? So I would recommend generally that that at least that annual physical um, just every every year, um, just to even get a blood pressure check and go over granted a bunch of other preventative health recommendations. Um, so the hard part with high blood pressure, it is not something you feel. It's not something that you necessarily will have any symptoms with. Sometimes you can if it's really high or really low or you get a big change. But in most cases, uh, it has no symptoms whatsoever it, until you get the, the big event where someone ends up with, with a heart attack with it. Um, so it's very much worthwhile to get regular blood pressure checks, um, potentially even checking it, checking it yourself. But anytime you come in for a primary care appointment, we're always checking blood pressure as a screening um, measure or even urgent care appointments. Um, we're generally checking blood pressure as a screening measure. Uh, just to, to see where it's at. Now, Dr. Wright, you mentioned that you, people could check this themselves, right? Is it, do you need like special equipment at home or like, can you just like, what, what, what would that process be? Yeah, so uh, in many cases you can, you can check it at home. Uh, plenty of people, if they don't have uh, it's a blood pressure cuff is what you use uh, as far as to check it. There are plenty of uh, automatic ones that you can get from a pharmacy. You may even have a family member that has one. Sometimes people get them prescribed for them, um, that they're able to get them with insurance. Um, and so if you have one, you wanna get one from a pharmacy, you wanna borrow a family member's, um, any of those ways you can do it to check. Basically it's where it's stuck you know, around your arm. Sometimes they go around the wrist um, and you can just check them at home. Even if you're doing it just, you know, occasionally, just, just to see. Um, sometimes you can check them. Some pharmacies I know um, can offer blood pressure checks. Sometimes there are community health fairs that can offer blood pressure checks. So there's a lot of different access as far as to be able to see what it is. If it is high, um, then you can always re repeat it and see if it stays that way, um, which would be okay if I kind of talk about the high blood pressure, what, what that range is. For sure, absolutely. All right, so average blood pressure, it has a top number and a bottom number. So average is 120 over 80. That's um, what, what many people have heard. And that's kind of where, where uh, generally we're looking at. Doesn't mean it can't range from there. Um, so that top number, that is a number, the high number is where your heart is beating. So it's the blood pressure when your heart is beating. That bottom number is kind of the, the pressure when your heart, it's like the rest in between the beats. Both numbers make a difference. So that, that top number, the average is 120. Sometimes it can range 100 to 120, um, can be very normal for it. That bottom number, um, it can be generally 80, um, but it can be somewhere, you know, 70s, 80s, can be pretty normal for it too. Um, it's when it starts getting into the, for the top number, what it's called a systolic number, that top number, it gets into the 130s, 140s. Those are the ones where um, that's when it starts getting abnormal. That's when it starts put, putting the extra stress on your organs. But that bottom number, if you start getting into, you know, you're getting into the 80s, upper 80s, 90s, especially once that starts getting, getting into the hundreds, that also puts extra stress on the organs. So those are kind of the, the numbers you want to see. So like when you're starting to get above that 120 over 80 and you're getting above that regularly, that is when you want to see a doctor. Got you. Got you. And those are really good. Uh, not only are they good numbers, no, but just knowing that range and kind of like the acceptable range, but then also like, all right, maybe we should have somebody else take a look at this so that we can get some uh, you know extra hands to, to get this situation fixed. So thank you for breaking that down. 
Uh, so we got one more question for you. What is Metro Health doing to help with this issue? Ah, so I mean, one, as a primary care doctor, this is a, a big thing that uh, we are all looking at every time we're seeing patients, uh, whether or not they're coming in for something else. I, I might be seeing someone because they have you know, flu, flu-like symptoms, uh, and I'm still always taking a look at their blood pressure. So mm-hmm. that is just kind of a cornerstone of, of a pri- you know, primary care physician. Um, you know, sometimes we're doing it if someone's seen in the emergency room or anything like that, we're getting follow-ups with them. So I think Metro Health does work really hard as far as just controlling blood pressure. Uh, we do offer, um, I know we've had um, health fairs um, where you can get blood pressure checks. Um, those are, are great ones that, um, nice way to, to kind of get an overall uh, uh, just a, or blood pressure check with those. We also have our uh, pharmacies. Um, so our pharmacists have helped a lot as far as with our blood pressure medications, access to them, especially for good pricing. Um, that's always a big one when you're looking at cost of medications um, for this because it's a, it's a long-term illness. It, it, it doesn't necessarily you know, go away. And so we really try and work for getting affordable access to medications that can help treat blood pressure. Got it. Got it. Metro Health always on the forefront and making sure that everybody is good. She's Dr. Wright with Metro Health. I'm Maddie Wills. Uh, And today we talked about everything under the sun that revolves around blood pressure. And just real quick, if you're watching this and maybe you knew all this already, but your friend, your family member, son, daughter, whoever didn't, please share this video with them. And then also make to make an appointment with a primary care provider, please call 216 Six nine six three eight seven six, uh, or sign into my chart. My chart is a very, um, a, a very powerful tool that I've, you know, since I've gotten back into my health side of things these last couple of years that I, I visit quite often. So again, two one six six nine six three eight seven six to make an appointment, or of course log on to your my chart. Doctor Chelsea Wright, uh, thank you for this. This was very good information. Um, is there anything that we that we missed out on, or is there anything else that you want to emphasize before we get out of here? Uh, no, let's see. I mean, mostly just the big one is just getting regular checks, uh, even if you're feeling well. Worthwhile to even get you know the baseline set. So, highly recommend establishing with a primary care physician. It's it's great because then they're they're there for if something does happen. Um, but just also to keep making sure everything's going well with your health. So. Um, glad to be here and thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. So thank you to you. Thank you to Metro Health as a whole. And of course, we'll be back with another episode of Wellbeing Wednesday with Maddie Wills brought to you by Metro Health real soon. So thanks, Dr. Wright. We'll talk soon. Okay. Sounds good. Take care. You too.